Okay then, what is going on guys? And welcome back to the video. That was a very loud intro. Right, uh, last episode we completed um, Honey Climb Galaxy, not Honey Hive, uh, Honey Climb Galaxy, and uh, Gusty Garden Galaxy, as well as doing the Prankster Comet in Gusty Garden Galaxy, and finding Luigi who got uh, trapped again in another galaxy, the silly human being. Uh, this episode, um... I'm going to open this level and start on this one, which is one of my personal favourites in the entire game, Freeze Flame Galaxy. Um, this this level is probably one of the most smartest ideas Nintendo have ever had. I can't lie. Um, so, um, this is the Frozen Peak of Baron Burr. Now, as you will see as we go through this, um, you will notice... Um, why I like this level so much. So, as you'll find out, this first level uh, is ice. Um, so, make sure you uh, make sure you remember that first level is ice, right? So, um, here's a random penguin here. Uh, ice skating's back as well, by the way. Um, hey, old man! I'm not an old man. Don't do that. Um, can you catch me? Yes, I can catch you. You'll be an easy man to beat. Finally, a worthy opponent. Bro, you are not hard to catch at all. You did not skate very fast. I skated faster than you. How do you feel an old man outskated you? Well, there's the frozen peak of Baron Burr. Also, I want to point this out, right? Look at the background as we're flying past. Look at that background. I love how it's just like an aurora, like an aurora sort of veil of like, I don't know, of like ice. It just looks so cool and it fits so well within the theme of the galaxy. This is just, it's got to be one of the one of the best galaxies of all time in the whole series. It has to be up there. Um, the theme tune is on point. It's good. There's nothing about this galaxy that I can say I don't like. Like everything about this galaxy just makes sense like it just glues together just so well and i just don't know how like you would never have thought that a fire and an ice galaxy like you would have thought like this would never work um uh i'm not gonna go to that star actually also um this is the introduction of freezing water um this water um um these are little birds as well, by the way. Um, I'm bad at dice them as well. Um, these are like little birds. So basically, what they do is they work. Um, they work um, just like. Uh, I don't think we've encountered the fire ones yet, but um, they um, they will try and come towards you and light you on fire, um, or light you on ice, if you will. Um, and then uh, they will also. I think from this you can get a one-up. Um, I'm not too sure though. I was not very quick at this at all. Um, but basically they will try and light you on ice and then they will freeze you for a couple seconds before you shake out of it. And then uh, yeah, they uh, they try and to you shake to them to deactivate them and then uh, they can get back into... Um, they get back into the freezing water to regenerate. So, there's that. I did not mean to do that. I did not want to go down there, but... Interesting how there's frozen glasses and nothing. Uh, this is the most suitable area where this actually works. Um... Also, you can kind of hack it a little bit by just jumping out of the water. Um, but usually this ice water, like this frozen water, shouldn't hurt you. Um, it shouldn't be an issue anyway. Um, so... Also, I believe this is where the secret mission is. So anyway, so that means that this wasn't the secret mission that I thought it was. Okay, anyway, it doesn't really matter anyway. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to explore them both anyway, so we might as well just explore this one and find out what's behind it. Well, I feel like I know... Actually, I think I know what's behind this one, actually. Yes, okay, it is what I thought. Um, also, as well, health extension here. This is your health... Okay, okay, I failed that one. Um, okay, that's the another time that I had to adjust the camera. Add one to the count of I don't need to adjust the camera uh, moment. Uh, that happened like 15 episodes ago at this point. Wait, this is episode 17, Jesus. Uh, here's your health extension as well. Um, and here's your one-up as well. Um, but I missed the one-up. Um, obviously, um, obviously, with the health extension being a thing, you'll obviously start to wonder, okay, there's the idea of them regenerating. Uh, they get into the frozen water to regenerate. Um, uh, with the, with all this happening. Also, um, this is the main gimmick of the ice flower. Um, this is where the ice flower, like, really comes into play. This is the entire galaxy of the ice flower. Um, I believe the ice flower appears in every single one of these missions. Um, I believe. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but I believe it is. I believe it's the only mission that the ice flower appears, the only galaxy that appears in all three missions. Um, I nailed that, you know. Not even by accident, either. Right, let me out. Oh, there we go. So, this is a very interesting level. Um, these these um, little burrs can get very... Um, they can get very annoying after a while. Um, mainly because um, there are so many places for them to regenerate. I would say it's not even worth you fighting them or trying to clear out the level of them. Um, they give you a coin no matter what. Also, I believe Mario does a different backflip. Um, yeah, he does a different spin. Uh, when he's in ice form, but, um, there we go, but this is, a uh, Baron Burst, that's what your health extension was for, um, this is the boss, um, of this entire galaxy, um, I wouldn't even say he's much of a boss, um, I wouldn't even like to think he's a boss, uh, here's your ice flower, uh, there's coins on the other side, um, but here's the point, um, you meant to ice skate with the ice flower, um, Go all the way around, um, like this. Uh, get up like this. He's meant to backflip like that. You're meant to hit him off. And then he, you do that. And then uh, he gets angry again. Like that. Uh, you do this. Shake on him again. Uh, he's angry. One last time. He has minions with him. Uh, and then you shake him off. And there you go. That's literally it. That's that's the boss. Um, a joke, really, if I'm being honest. Uh, a joke of a boss, I'm going to be honest. Um, the only bad thing about this is that there's not a good boss to, like, help out the mission. Uh, I said there's no bad things. Obviously, every galaxy is going to have its flaws, but this is the most near-perfect galaxy, in my opinion. I just... It just moulds so well together. And you'll find that in the second mission as well, which we're going to do in just a second. Um, 52 stars. So, uh, yeah. Oh. Interesting. So this is what I was on about how Cosmic Comets are very hard by to come from. Um, this, I believe, is the second Cosmic Comet that we're doing. Um, I don't know if I wanted... To, okay, I'll do it because it's in like line with the mission. Um, but this is going to be... Um, this is going to be part of... Um, the Cosmic Comet is going to be part of the third mission. Um, the third mission... Um, Frosty Cosmic Mario Race. Actually, I don't know if it is. Okay, no, it's not. Um, I'm not going to spoil the last mission. Obviously, if you played this game, which you should have. I'm like, obviously, this is um, uh, this is just a Cosmic Mario Race here. Um, I'm not going to ruin the last mission. Obviously, you should have played this game, so um, it doesn't matter. Obviously, I love that peak in the background. I can't get over the background, man. It looks so good. Oh my god. Also, I don't believe, um, I don't believe, um, Mario ice skates. 
Um, Lu uh, Cosmic Luigi, uh, I believe he does ice skate. Um, I believe Cosmic Luigi does ice skate, and he will go a lot quicker than Cosmic Mario does. Um, obviously, I smoked him. Um, Cosmic Mario is not that hard to beat at all. It only gets to when you are Cosmic Luigi. Um, Cosmic Luigi will start ice skating as soon as he gets on there. Obviously, Luigi is the hard mode. I've explained this before. If you want to play Luigi, uh, that is the hard mode to this game. So, there we go. Right, back to mission two that I originally was going to go to. Uh, but then the game made me change my mind. Um, so, um, this is Freeze Flame's blistering course. So, if you put two and two together, um, you will notice um, there is this is the fire level here. Um, now. This is what I feel like is the smartest thing about this game. Also, as well, I believe if you do this, um, if you jump and then shake uh, next to these, one of these crystals, uh, you will not get into ice skating mode, which will make this uh, collecting uh, a whole lot easier for you with the star, the star chips. So, obviously, not following my own logic here, but I love the fact that um, they. Um, they set up with, um, where's the last starship? Fuck, ow. Here we go. All right. You don't exactly need that though, do you? Um, but I love the fact, um, that, okay, I've, I've fucked it up. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, I think I do need the stars. But as you can see here, there is the blistering core. And I love how the fact that the first level is ice. The second level is fire. And if you put two and two together, you'll know what the third level is. I love this level and how they've done it. Um, I don't exactly know what these things are. I believe they're urchins, but just in a fire form. Um... I'll leave the names on the screen again now uh, when I find out their names uh, in like, post-editing. Um, I don't know if they're any different to the urchins. Um, obviously, they behave and function uh, the same as urchins do. Uh, they are the exact same. Um, they do follow you, um, except they're not underwater. So, um, there's that as well. Um, also, health extension again. No apparent reason. Uh, just have a health extension there. Um, so, yeah. I love... I love how this... How this mission is designed. Um, absolutely love it. Okay, I'm playing with fire there. Barry, you nailed it. Time to go up this pole. So be sure not to go too high because obviously there is a roof to this place. Um, interesting thing there as well. Interesting mechanic there. Um, again, another mechanic here. Things uh, sink into lava. And uh, yeah. It's about everything there is to it. So I think you can shake into these guys. Um, oh, okay, that was close. Alright, shake all these boxes. Uh, use this. Right, and now here is the start of the fire flower. Um, I believe uh, this is the first time we are seeing the fire flower in this game. We'll find out in a minute if there's an introduction to it. There is. This is the first time we see the fire flower in this game. And I believe it's the only time we see the fire flower, unfortunately. Um, you can uh, shake uh, to fire fireballs. And um, obviously uh, you need to try and light this up. Like this. And like that, up like that. And then uh, there will be uh, an entrance of slash platform for you to get onto here. 
and then the gravity changes. Um, so you are now on the roof, and the floor that you were on is now the roof. Um, uh, this things actually do spin very quickly, um, but it's very cool. You can find out some secrets out on the other side, um, so that's very good. Also, one thing I don't understand about this game is physics. How Mario is inside a blistering core of uh, straight lava literally all around him, I will never understand. Um, how he's not burning alive right now, because this this area should be should be like 3,000 degrees at this point, probably more than that. Um, and the fact that Mario is not dying, um, I will never understand. Um, Mario is just a living, immortal being. I don't know how he does it. There we go. And there's that. Oh. So Mario was still on nothing there for a second. Right. Now we're back on the original floor. Loads of gravity changes in this. We are zooming through. I don't believe there's any secrets in this. Not any of that I've missed. Um, anyway, I don't think so anyway. Um, but yeah. If they move across here. These are little, little timbers, I think. Um, oh, little cinders. That's it. Little cinders. Um, I can't. I couldn't remember their name for a second. Um, basically, they work exactly in the same way as the ice ones do, except they burn you. Um, and the way that they regenerate is obviously uh, getting into lava, um, as you'll see here. There you go. That's how they regenerate. And obviously, they give you a coin as well. Not worth fighting them again. Um, they are a little easier to deal with because um, the water's not right around them. Um, Obviously, um, but yeah, obviously you need to, need to do this and uh, get on one of these um, things here. Um, and there's that. And there we go. There's the star. Okay, burn me. So there you go. I haven't actually defeated one of these before. They give you coins. So there we go. And burn myself uh, into the star. There we go. And there we go. The blistering core is now complete. Almost done with my favorite galaxy already. Jesus. Lasted one episode and a little bit more. Anyway. That will be the end of this episode, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, next episode, I think we're going to see um, what prankster comets we have left. Uh, complete freeze flame galaxy and then move on to this one right here. So we are moving at uh, pace right now. So hope you guys are enjoying the videos that we're doing. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And uh, yeah, so enjoy yourselves, guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, guys.